has had Wild. on Tuesday, May 5. See step into the training camp of Mexican superstar Canelo Alvarez as he prepares for a tough time. Down goes Baldemir. Perez is 24 years on his resume, as we've mentioned, putting aside his 44 victories. Perhaps Canelo's most important learning experience was his loss to Floyd Mayweather. If you missed our excellent 24-7 episode this week, you now get a second chance to see what Canelo had to say. Pégale para arriba y cuando le pegas arriba ya está abajo. Slowly, Floyd is busting up that face of Canelo Alvarez. Y se fueron yendo los rounds y vimos que la única forma de ganar esa pelea era noqueando a Mayweather. Canelo keeps just missing. Me vine aquí para entrenar mucho antes de, de lo de vivir peleando y ganando con todos estos rivales fuertes que hay. When he was free, trainer Island Extreme Workouts continued to push the fight the mini Tyson. Down goes Vera. We were knocking everybody out. First, second, third round, I was knocking them out. But Shida, a few months later, the results were disastrous. Third knockdown now, and Joe Cortez is stopping the... Together again, Kirkland and Wolf faced their hardest task yet in 2011. Kirkland is backing Alfredo Angulo up. Oh. Angulo better not punch himself out here, because he'll have a problem if he does. Mm. Pounding out bigger and bigger advantages by the round. Especially if he has somebody that knows how to get that dog out of him. Well, if Kirkland continues this and can apply the finisher, a star is reborn. Kirkland. Kirkland is in the zone right now. He can smell blood. He's giving Tapia up. And then we're on top. Better parts, better prices every day. For the thou 33. The blue corner, wearing black with green, official weight, also 154, one half pound. Professional victory. Some team in his corner, Kepo Reynoso and his son Jose. Round one begins. Right hand over the top by Kurt or a counterpuncher. Well, he's a counterpuncher, and tonight he'll have to be a counterpuncher because he's fighting a guy who's going to be all over him. But he can fight either way, Jim. He can attack or he can counter. Canelo on the defensive right now as Kirkland fires away, and Canelo keeps his guard up in the corner. Canelo already ate a good right hand from Kirkland. It's one of the reasons he's in the corner right now. Hard right hand by Canelo. Kirkland firing away. Lands a left, lands another left. Canelo's getting hit by Kirkland, and he's stuck in the corner. But let's remember, Kirkland is vulnerable, especially early. We saw it against Angulo. Airs his feet up and forgets to stay in a responsible boxing stand. Bad with left hook. Canelo with that good left hook. Oh, he got hurt bad hook. again with it. Canelo almost landed the third big left. They're willing to take that left hook instead of gambling on Canelo's right uppercut. Kirkland open to the right hand. Hurt very bad, Joe. Both fighters have been hurt in round one. Hard right hand by Canelo. I've never Alvarez seen... has a chance for something big. I've never seen Kirkland try to play rope adult that tells you how hurt he must be. Well, Canelo taking his time and landing the big shot. No one Hard right hand. Good. Down goes Kirkland. Minutes still to go in the first round. Possible opportunity to be knocked down in round one. Kirkland is safe. Canelo, he was much safer when he was close. He can't outbox him, and he can't box with him. Close range was his best option because now Canelo is throwing wicked body shots, wicked uppercuts, and Canelo has gotten comfortable. And Dan, not he from is that painting Kirkland with those shots. Not from that distance, Jim. Now he's doing the same thing that Pacquiao did last week. He's staying right in the wrong distance to win the fight. Hard left hook by Alvarez. Guys, the reason we know Kirkland's name is precisely because he walks through stuff like this. But again, the other time he didn't have her, he was knocked out in the first round, and he's in jeopardy here Big in the left first round. Another right, huge body shot, but he's seen this together brilliantly ever since the early assault from Kirkland that locked him in the corner. Huge right hand, left hook to the body. Canelo working, working, John Shirley looking. And Kirkland's going to make it out of the round. Here you see Canelo there, left body shot, followed by a straight right hand, right down the pipe. That hurt, and that sent Kirkland to the canvas. Acting very positive. In round one, 36 of them were power connects, 10 to the body, just like that. Left hook to the body there. And another big left hook. Knocks Kirkland into the ropes. Alvarez landing everything. Straight right, straight right, straight right. Left to the body. Kirkland's going to get stopped if he doesn't throw some shots. Tremendous shots. 
How is he still here? I don't know. Incredible conditioning and, is the only answer. And punching back. And still trying. Uppercut by Alvarez. He's hitting him with everything but the kitchen sink. And Kirkland still standing up. That's why they call him the Mandingo Warrior, And Jim. now the Mandingo Warrior starts <laughs> to fire himself. He is Amazing. throwing punches. He can survive that assault. He is throwing punches, and he's showing great resolve, but the punches don't yet have the snap that they do when he starts to come back in these many fights we've seen. Take the body as well as the head. He's not just attacking him to the head like most people make the mistake and do. And look at this guy's Canelo. This is what your boy Triple G talks about when it says Mexican style. This is Mexican style. And now Kirkland once again pins Canelo against the ropes. To his southpaw stance. Throws some jabs looking for a chance to land a left hand. Reaching over the top and missing. And Canelo getting a little bit of a breather here. What for he starts to 99 out of 100 fighters have already lost this fight. Twice. <laughs> Good head movement by Canelo Alvarez. Now he fires back to the body. Good left hand shot to the body. Hurt Kirkland again. Straight right hand. It's an all out war in round two. And these are big, powerful. He's taking those body shots, Jim. I you wonder if Canelo Alvarez the throwing in the last. What he's used to. This is what he prepared for. And his shots. He wasn't just going haywire with them. So he is not punched out. That was the right uppercut and everything. But that uppercut lifted him off the canvas. Left to the body, right to the body, right up. He see Canelo land a beautiful left uppercut. What keeps Kirkland up on his feet? I do not. His left hook right on the button. Left hooks don't get landed any cleaner than this. I mean, wow. 90 punches knocked out in the first round. Only landed 16 of them, but landed some very hard shots. Right uppercut is landing still. Dave McClinton said that the only athlete he's ever worked with, and he's worked with a lot of ends to Kirkland in terms of his will, is Priest Holmes. And Kirkland has that kind of great running back quality. When the play is over, his legs are still churning. Man. shocked would we be at this point if this fight went 12 rounds oh no way no way <laughs> <laughs> this is what you should have gave a hundred dollars to see if you want to see a fight you, you got a boxing match last week that's a different thing than a fight oh, oh. this is a fight yeah this is a fight this is not much little skill but less than what we see from the best but if there's a skill advantage it belongs to canelo alvarez and that means the premium and will and guts and he has them all in abundance. So far, it's skill over will, and Kirkland has to change that equation. Perfect shots by Canelo Alvarez. Kirkland keeps coming. He can't keep giving Canelo them big shots, though, Jim. Oh. One of those body shots. Those body shots will wear anybody down. What a savage beat. And coming back. And telling him to cut. There he is. Uppercut knocks Kirkland down. Second knockdown of the fight. Three, four, five, six. He's not knocked out, just knocked down. Second knockdown. That right uppercut continues to land. There's a perfect straight right hand, and Shirley's going to stop the fight. What a performance by Canelo Alvarez. Maybe all things considered, the most electrifying of Canelo Alvarez's career. Self about what he's been through in an unbelievable fight. That was the uppercut jab right up under the left jab which is why he abandoned the jab. He wanted Kirkland to throw those high punches so that he could counter. Once again, Kirkland threw that left hand, and then well, it was the left hand, he stuck it out like a jab, and then he countered it with the uppercut, which is why you don't stick late lagging punches out like that. You give a guy something the whole time. He looked down to the body right with a jab, and comes right over the top with the overhand right. He knew that Kirkland was prone to getting knocked down, and if you can get knocked down like that, it's not as hard to knock you out if you keep working the body shots. If you watch his attack, Canelo always got... ...by Canelo Alvarez. One more look. Remember, Wilfred Benitez's knockout of Murray's Hope was almost the exact same punch, just without the jab. He looked down and came over the top, and that's where you see real old-school boxing lessons right there with Canelo Alvarez just showed you badly in the first.